I'm dripping junket. How are we doing people? Ralph here, Ralph is reviews, Team Knucklehead. Knuckleheadvapes.com, go clone or go home fan. Yada yada yada. Now, it's been a while. Um, those that know me, or know us I should say, uh, those that follow us on social media, etc, etc, will know that we've relocated. The, the plan was to move house and business, but the house fell through, which was a bit of a kick in the bollocks, but it's alright. We're embracing where we are, and it's absolutely beautiful. Knucklehead Towers, in the middle of fucking nowhere. I love it, but there's a few things we need to do to the property. No biggie. Um, but we moved into a, a big fuck off uh, unit for the business, so I'm here now. Look, different environment. I would give you the tour, but I'm not. Uh, on the Facebook group, Go Clone or Go Home, I did a quick walk round when we first got it set up. So if you remember, You'll find it in the videos. Um, if you're not a member, go and sign up. Yeah. Please be aware. Um, if the admins can't see your friends list, then they won't add you. Because we like to make sure that we, we can fulfil our no fuckwit rule. So no fuckwits need apply. Anyway, I've digressed already. Today we're going to do a review, and we're going to review the broadside style mod. I can't tell you how popular these are. We can't get them fast enough, we're out. I'm gonna to have to use mine. Um, and we've got one here that's got a bit of a cosmetic flaw. It's got a little bit of a dent in the ring there. So we're not selling that, but I can use it to show you what they're like, how they're built and all the rest of it. Yeah, more on the way. I'll put a link in to the outer stock at the time of filming, uh, listing on the website, but we'll have a look. We're going to close up as normal. Um, one of the most interesting things about these is they've got a switch like the Sub-Zero, a little clutch in the switch there, and they've gone to a non-hybrid 510, and they've got a Delrin lining in the tube, so they're really, really fucking safe to use, yeah. If your battery wraps ain't great, you'll get away with it. Not that I ever advocate using batteries that are not 100% light. Um, I think a, a big part of it, of the non-hybrid and the Delrin tube, is that as more people get into vaping that haven't got the experience, then they're jumping straight in to using mech mods. They want that performance, they want the, to drip and... They want to blow big clouds and get all that flavour and all that juicy goodness that we get when we drip. But because they've not got the experience, then they're more prone to fucking it up. Yeah, so safety's coming forward, which is a good thing, you know. Um, when I first started, nearly everything had a, a non-hybrid 510. And then you first, uh, first things started to appear that were hybrid and they called them competition style ones because see it harder and it's better for clouds and all the rest of it <clears throat> the truth is if they're as well made as these then there's absolutely no difference this is non-hybrid 510 and it kicks your fucking head in yeah good bit of secure little bit of fiddly to set up especially if you've not got the experience so we'll look at that in the close-up right i'll have a quick vape We'll go in close next door in the stock room because there's a big white fucking packing table that I can use. And I'll uh, see you in a minute. Right, oh, folks, here it is. It's a broadside style mod in brass, this one. Um, yeah, lovely bit of kit. Phenomenally popular and for good reason. It truly do perform. Just bits of dust on there. So let's have a look at the bastard, uh, the bad boy. So, copper tube or brass tube in this case. And we've got two or three interesting features. We have the 510 off, the top cap. You will notice that there's a pin there. So we're non-hybrid. When you screw your atomizer on, it's going to connect with that pin through the hole there. This bit's going to hit the battery. And then down the tube it goes. We've got a Delrin line tube. So you ain't got to worry about shorts. And the switch end has got this 
Sub-Zero style clutch. When you press it, it spreads. It's on a taper. Look, it's a little taper there. So that spreads. These bits touch the side of the body, connect the battery to the, the body, complete the circuit, and off you fucking go. Now, they come with three different O-rings, so you can adjust how hard this is. It's got an adjustable throw, so you can wind that in and out. Yeah, so you can determine how much throw you get, and it's got this adjustable 510. So it's fucking bob on. You really can get it how you want it. A downside of that is if you don't really understand what you're doing, because you've never used something like this before, then you're going to fucking struggle to get it working right. Yeah, which we'll go into right now. So the simplest thing I do is set up the 510 end first. And this has got a left-hand thread. So if you wind it the way that you would to do it up, you're actually undoing. Let's see if it'll pull it out. Oops, no, it'll pull off. You're actually undoing that pin. So we'll just start that back on. Oops, sorry, it's pushed in. All right, we'll leave that as it is. Bear with. So, we've got a pin pushed right in, yeah? By accident, but it served well to, to demonstrate. We've got a, I've just picked an RDA up at random. Let's go an LP. We're going to screw that onto the cap, and you'll see that as it screws on, it pushes that pin out, because the middle of your 510 is touching it. So that's contacting with your 510. Now, we put this adjuster on, bearing in mind it's left-hand thread, so we screw it anti-clockwise, which is a bit fiddly to do on the camera. And we'll do it so it just touches there, yeah. No worries. We'll get a battery and pop it in the tube. Positive down, because we want a big surface area here. And we screw that on there. Now, you see there's a gap there. And you're thinking, fuck that, Ralphie, that looks shit. So we'll adjust it at this end. Set that off. Set the clutch out. Turn that out. So I'm going to try and do it with my thumb now. Yep. Turn that out. And now that will screw down. Just leave a tiny little gap. Screw that back in. So we know it's touching the battery. Put the clutch on. Put the housing back on and it should be absolutely golden so that's all there is to it. i'll show you on mine that's uh made up let me get this battery out so we've got a deck on there we've got that adjusted we put the battery in down yeah, put that on there, like that. We adjust that screw so that this sits just with a, a tiny little gap, as it is, excuse me. So just undo that a little bit, screw that down a little bit. And now, when we put this back together with a clutch, yeah, see it fires up. So we know it's all touching. Put my button assembly back on. And it's got a little bit of throw. Just a little bit. Uh, I could adjust this out a little bit more, just to screw out a little bit more and get even less throw, but that suits me. Dead simple. And you don't need to touch that again. Fucking leave it alone. Next time you're changing your battery, take that out. Yeah, put a fresh battery in. If you've caught this, if you've fucked about with it and wound it in, so you've wound it anti-clockwise too much, the pin won't touch your, your positive, so it won't work. And if you've wound it out too much, then it will touch, but you'll have a fucking big gap there. So just make sure that that's just touching the, the uh, insulator. And there you go, it should.
work like that. It's fucking simple. Lovely bit of kit. Tell you what, they look really, really good with the endless new slam rooms, 25 mil slam rooms. Oh, fuck about. Yeah. Absolutely spot on. Dead, dead simple. Just a few little snides there. you got your sleeve inside to stop you blowing yourself up because your battery wraps are shit and you ain't bothered to fucking do them. But do them. you got that adjustable non-hybrid 510, which is just what they were like back in the day forever. So to me, it's like an old friend. And you've got this SOI style clutch type switch that fucking just does it. It's absolutely spot on. We'll go back up top. We'll have a quick vape. And I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so there you go. I mean, they're not overcomplicated, are they? 25 mil. Feels lovely. They're made lovely. They're finished lovely. This, the, the logos come straight off. I've got a copper one and a brass one and the logos come straight off the button. So fucking what? You know, it's no big deal. It works flawlessly. Look, see what I did there. Works flawlessly. And as I said, it, it's like a cheated wife, you know, it fucking really does it. So, thanks for watching. Um, glad to be back. I'll try and catch up a little bit. There's a, a we've got a lot of products that I've not reviewed because time's been mad we've had a fucking mental december and january and now february's here and we're settled in the new premises um and the the home improvements are coming along nicely then hopefully i'll have a little bit more free time um and i'll catch up thanks for watching yeah remember people smoking kills vaping saves lives which do you choose big love everyone thanks for watching and i'll see you again soon